Hey guys, it's Playing Games Day here, and uh, I've been playing the Halo uh, uh, Combat Evolved uh, campaign all the way through with mods, and a lot of people are asking me how to do the mods. Well, uh, I guess t today I'm going to show you how to do the mods. They're really simple. Um, you're, you're only going to need two programs for what I've been doing. Uh, maybe three if you want to do custom skins. Um, so I'll go ahead and pull out my Photoshop there too so you can do the custom skins. Uh, you're going to need dot .halo, which I'll link to you in the description. Uh, Halo Map Tools, which will also be in the description, and Photoshop, you guys can get that on your own time. Both of these programs are free, and uh, you can pick them up on pretty much any Halo website, and it's really simple. Um, I'm just going to be using Halo Combat Evolved, the video game. I don't ha I, I do have Custom Edition, but I, I didn't use it because I think that's only multiplayer. So, uh, first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create two backups of your maps. You're going to want to create a uh, a modded map folder and then you're going to want to create a clean map folder so you'll have a backup of all the maps if they're clean and uh, they're not modded in case you mess up because it's really easy to mess up especially when modding this stuff so uh, to get to the to get to your maps um, to make a backup what you're going to do is you're going to go to your uh, computer and then you're going to go to your C drive which will be your main hard drive and then you're going to go to your program files and since I'm running a 64 bit it's going to be under x86 and you scroll down and find microsoft games right here and it's going to be halo go to maps you're just going to right click and then you're going to copy and then you're going to paste two of them wherever you want and then you're going to rename one modded maps and one clean maps and this way you have backups right okay so now that you have the mod and the clean maps you're going to first uh... the first tutorial we're going to do is unlimited ammo All right. so you're going to open up your dot halo uh, dot Halo was originally made for Halo 2, but it also works on Halo 1, which is pretty cool. So open your map. You're going to browse to it. Uh, I've already got mine selected, so I'm just going to browse uh, all the campaign maps. We're going to be listed A, B, and C, and D. The rest of them are multiplayer maps. So uh, these are all multiplayer maps. If you want to mess with those, you guys can go have fun or download your own or whatever. But these are campaign maps. So I'm just going to op open, uh, let's see, we'll do... We'll do B, and oops, I've already uh, modded this one, so I'm going to go back, close the map, open up, let's do C. I haven't done any C maps, so I'm just going to go ahead, go back to my tags, and uh, go back to my weapons. Alright, so uh, let's see. Let's do shotgun. I'm going to open up the shotgun, right? So clip. Clip, or technically it should be called magazine. Um, this is how much ammo you can hold in the gun, and uh, starting ammo... Uh, what you pretty much want to do is you want to make everything just uh, the same number. So let's 60, 60, 60, and then on your reload time you want zero. So it's instantly more ammo in the gun. And then shots reloaded you want 60. So it's the same amount. The whole clip's reloaded in zero seconds, and that's how. Excuse me. Excuse me. Wow. <coughs> and that's how you get uh, all your ammo, the set ammo that you need. And to make it so it doesn't waste any ammo, you're going to go to projectiles on the drop down box, go to zero, scroll down here, and then this is how your gun shoots. All right, your rate of fire is your, you got your minimum rate of fire, your maximum, how much ammo per shot. To make it unlimited ammo, simply change ammo per shot to zero. Right? Uh, projectiles fired, this is how many shots it shoots per one shot. Since it's a shotgun, it shoots 15. I don't like that, I want 60. Uh, be careful with the numbers. Uh, first of all, I'm going to say be careful with the numbers that you use for stuff like projectiles because um, if your com your computer might crash if it can't handle it because the Halo original engine that they used is very slow compared to, let's say, like uh, better games nowadays. But uh, just be careful with the numbers. You don't want anything like over like 90 or your rate of fire. I wouldn't go over 40 because I've crashed it very easily going over 40. But I want my shotgun to be super fast, and that's what it's going to shoot. So... That's how it's going to shoot, and then you got your spread here. Um, you can mess with that. You're going to notice this is going to be in increments of zero point, etc. Because uh, if you go to one, it's going to be shooting like in a 360 degree angle around your body. So, um, so you want to keep it in a point something. Otherwise, it's going to be going everywhere. So, shotgun is probably your best bet to look at your accuracy. So, your minimum spread would be point one seven four, etc., which is and that's how tight your grouping is going to be when you aim using the reticule. So I'm going to leave that the same because it's a shotgun. It's cool. Actually, I'm going to change it to two. 
Um, another thing to remember, never completely delete the number in the box, otherwise you will crash your program. So uh, just type in, if you highlight the whole box, don't ever hit backspace or delete, just type in a number. So that way you avoid completely deleting the number and that does crash your program really easily. And with .halo you never have to hit save changes, never hit save changes up here. Um, this is all for Halo 2 stuff and you don't need to rebuild map, uh, make PPF patches, you don't need to do any of that since this is this was all designated for Halo 2 and this program wasn't really meant to work on Halo 1 but since I got so familiar with the program this is what I use. So now your shotgun shoots uh, 50 rounds right but but what do you want to do? You want to make it shoot uh, grenades alright you're gonna open up your dependency and loan ID your loan your, it's called dependencies and loan IDs box or you're just gonna see dep so I'm gonna open it up and this is where you're not supposed to touch sound file so if I click on the sound file it's gonna crash the program so don't do that if you ever need to change a sound file select a different one and then just use the arrow keys down to it and then you can change it so that's how you do that um, to change what it shoots you're gonna see projectile PROJ right so see it says projectile and then it shoots the shotgun pellet so what you can do to change that is um, I can make it shoot rockets um, this is the plasma bolt that's charged for the plasma pistol this is the plasma rifle bolt and this is the plasma pistol bolt this is a uh, um, the plasma grenade that we got the pistols bullet the needler needle and then we got the uh, frag grenade assault bullet etc etc it's that's all that's all that does um, I'm gonna make mine shoot sentinel beams that's cool right so mine shoots sen sentinel beams okay and then you oh yeah and uh, you just hit you select it and then you hit save changes and you can hit save changes as much as you want in here just don't ever hit save changes uh, up here um, hex editor this is really oh sorry hex editor is really something you don't want to mess with um, this is old school I'm gonna actually open the thing up here because I'm not doing anything else but uh, hex editor is kind of like a uh, a renamer see um, this is how you rename the weapons and stuff like that this was really more popular for Halo 2 multiplayer um, or weapon packs where you could pick up weapons and they'd be like pick up the asshole gun you know so that's how you do that I wouldn't suggest messing with it since this is just a really simple tutorial and I'm gonna probably be jumping around a lot since I don't want to teach you how to do specific things I want to teach you how to uh, use the program so uh, um, another really cool thing I did in my videos was uh, slow motion locking on bullets um, how to make a bullet lock on or uh, how, how to make it slow and lock on um, and follow you I'll do it with the plasma pistol or you know I'll do it with the plasma rifle right okay so um, if you see this is a plasma rifle if you try to do the unlimited ammo thing for the plasma rifle you're gonna go to your clip and there's gonna be nothing so you don't touch any of that and the projectile um, ammo per shots it's gonna be zero the way you work with it you work on overload time and charge time that's really more for the plasma pistol and don't worry about that but about how to make lock on weapons you're gonna go to your dependency and loan IDs for whatever weapon that you want to mess with you're gonna see your plasma rifle bolt right there under your projectiles and then you can click go to tag and it'll bring you directly to the tag or you can select it yourself um, under the projectiles tag but uh, this is just easier for me because I plan on messing with the gun anyway so uh, explosion delay one and two this is um, to make it delay when it hits you it'll, f it'll stick on you for a little while and then it will hurt uh, lifespan zero which means it goes on forever weight and arc is zero you want that turned off excuse me again and then initial speed is how fast it does when it comes out of the gun and final speed is like a settling speed which it eventually reaches and then continues on for the rest of the time being I usually change it for locking on I usually change it somewhere around 0 0.2 uh, I think that's about how slow the rocket fires and uh, initial speed and final speed sometimes I like to mess around in 0 0.3 that looks cool sometimes uh, homing abilities two. if you want it to follow if you want it to follow lock on and be like um, you know I'm changing that back to two because I've messed that up before but uh, if you want it to follow you no matter what and hit you no matter what uh, two is the best you don't want to go over two because then the uh, then the projectile overcorrects itself and it hits other things 
So, um, if you want 100% guaranteed shooting your enemies and it look really cool, then you're going to want to go two. And this is probably my favorite effect. So, now that the plasma rifle bolts are going to be going really slow and they're going to be following them. And that's how you make something home and turn on. You can also do this with plasma grenades and frag grenades, and that's also what I'm that's what I'm going to be doing next is how to do it with plasma grenades. So, I'm going to go to my tags. Uh, projectiles, it's already slow. I didn't mean to hit the senten sentinel beam. Oh, I've never slowed down a sentinel beam. That'll be cool to see. Let's see, uh, lifespan, let's make that a thousand. Uh, initial speed, we'll make that, uh, hmm. I've actually never seen what this looks like. I'm afraid I'm going to break the game. But, uh, let's do 0 0.5. That'll be really cool, right? 0 0.5. And then homing and abilities, we'll make that too. We'll see how that works. And that didn't save us a thousand. So, we're about to experience something new here. So, tags, um, projectiles, and then you're going to go to plasma grenade, right? Alright, so your weight and arc, you want to turn to zero, so it doesn't lower when you throw it. Uh, explosion delay, as you can see, it takes two, I guess, seconds. I don't know the increment of time. And homing abilities, two. And you're going to actually have to change the initial speed and final speed to uh, something. So I'm going to do 0 0.8. 0 0.8. So that way, when the projectile is thrown, it won't just flop to the ground like it does normally. Or if you want to shoot out of a gun, it's not going to flop to the ground, which was a big problem in Halo 2. It took a lot of people and a lot of work to figure out that's all you had to do to change it, which is really goofy. But uh, just for fun, I'm going to make the pistol. Yeah, I'm going to make the pistol shoot uh, plasma grenades. I'm also going to make it unlimited ammo. 60, 60, 60, oh, 0, 60. And then the projectiles, uh, rate of fire, I'll just make it 25 for funsies. 25, ammo per shot, uh, 0, projectiles fired, we'll do 3, and uh, we'll make the spread 0 0.1, 0 0.01. And single fire is unclicked. Okay. Um, this is also something really cool. You can also change the zoom levels. Uh, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make two zoom levels. I'm gonna do two, and I'm gonna make one times five. So the first zoom will go to times two, and then the second zoom will go times five. And since it's already got a scope, it'll do all the work for you, and it'll even set the number for you. So that's really cool. Uh, is there, I don't think there's anything else I can show you in this program. I'll go ahead and change my needler to do something really cool later. But. Uh, so you don't have to hit, never hit save changes up here. Never hit that up there because that'll also crash the program. Uh, this program requires no saving. Once you once you've done the work and typed in the numbers, you can close out, and all my changes will be saved. The next thing I wanted to show you is uh, weapon skinning. So I'm going to use Halo map tools for this because uh, Dot Halo's skinning abilities for its bitmap is kind of broken and doesn't really work. So I'm going to hit file, open, um, browse to my modern maps, and. Uh, Let's do C again. So I'm going to open C. Now I'm going to I'm going to choose a clean bitmap. Uh it'll be the fifth tag down. You'll see bitmap. And then this is pretty much the skin for everything in the game. I'm talking about uh these are the levels, like this is the scenery, environment, floor. You can change whatever you want. If you have the time, you can change anything. So as you when you click on something, it's going to show you the little picture down here and then you're going to save the texture as so uh, as you can see that's the skin for the assault rifle I've got it for the pistol somewhere there we go there's the pistol one uh, most of mine are modded so that's why you're seeing this I'm trying to find one that isn't modded the shotgun isn't modded so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the one that says shotgun not bolt uh, not multi-purpose multi-purpose is kind of like a lighting uh, you don't want to mess with that so just click on the one that says straight up shotgun or if you're doing the pistol choose the one that says FP assault rifle or FP pistol so you're gonna hit save texture I'm gonna save it to my desktop alright so I can minimize that and then I should have it somewhere here somewhere uh, let me find it here it is all the way over here for some reason oh, it's because I took halo and moved it over there anyway so I got my shotgun dot DDS one DDS. So you're going to open up Photoshop. And then uh one thing I forgot to mention guys, I'm really bad at doing this, but uh 
the, uh, you're going to need a plugin to run these DDS files. You're going to need the DDS NVIDIA plugin. I'll also post a link to that in the description. All you have to do is um, drag and drop it into your plugins folder under your in wherever you installed your Photoshop. Um, but after you do that, just restart Photoshop and then you can drag and drop those. And then uh, use default size, show the dialog. It doesn't matter. I just do that because it's there and I don't feel like changing it. I'm too lazy. And there you go. Now you've got your texture in there and you can add shit to it. Um, so paint away and have fun and I'll come back when I'm done with what I want the mine to look like. Okay guys, I just got a really, 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 really super simple random effect generate just bunch of shit that I put onto here and made it look like this and then I'm just gonna hit save. And then you're gonna pull up this screen. Um, like 99% of the bitmaps and textures in Halo 1 are DXT1 which means just minor alpha, just hit save. And if it, it says that the alpha will be lost, just hit OK and then you're done with that. Um, so wherever it's saved to, which is still right here, I can go back into Halo Map Tools and then I'm going to inject texture. I'm going to find my shotgun, hit open. Uh, sometimes it'll ask you to update the size, hit OK. Texture was successfully imported, hit OK. And then your texture is going to show up right here and it looks cool and you're sexy, whatever. And then you can edit stuff like the shotgun that looks, the shells, or all this bullshit. So. That's pretty much how you remap and remod, or not how you remap, but this is how you, um, you know, uh, retexture guns in Halo. Really cool, random stuff, and it looks really fun. Or it looks really cool when you get it done, and people will be like, "Oh, look at all that shit," you know, and uh, you'd be like, "Fuck yeah!" And then you and your best friends have Halo party time, and everyone will be like, "How you do that, bro?" And you're like, "I got this." So. That's pretty much how you do everything like that. You don't have to save anything in here either. Once it's injected, it's injected. And, uh, you know, um, that's pretty much how you do the mods. I think I covered everything pretty much that everyone wanted to see. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's all I've done in my videos anyway. So, um, I'm going to show you how to install the mods now. So, uh, you take your modern maps, then you go back to your. What the that crap? Uh, go to your computer. Blah blah blah. Program files. Microsoft Games. Halo Maps. So you just drag and drop the map that you just messed with in here. Uh, move and replace. Um, if your skins didn't work and save, you might actually have to manually edit in here, which is still no problem. Uh, file open and then uh, actually I still have it saved in my. There, here we go. And then you might have to do it via, you know, um, via what's it called? You might just have to go to your program files and then search it there. If your if your skins didn't save, um, I know dot halo saves no matter what. So that's <laughs> I'm sorry if I rambled at all, and I'm sorry if I was too quick on this. Um, this is in an HD video, so you're able to really look and inspect what I did. Everything will zoom in and whatnot. So um, if I mess something, just message me, and I'll tell you. Um, I'll tell you what I did and how I did it. So I think I covered pretty much everything. Thanks, guys. Leave a comment, rate, and subscribe if you have not already. And make sure to favorite. I'm trying to get to be a partner. Come on, guys.